So team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Lions, they make it official and they sign former Baltimore Ravens safety Deshaun Elliott. Now, this was the type of deal that I anticipated him getting uh, this offseason was a one year deal uh, because he has a lot to prove. Um, to whether he would have got it from the Ravens to return there or whether he was getting it from another team. And in this case, uh, he's getting a one-year deal with a max value of $3.65 million. I'm not sure what the base value is. I'm sure that'll come, come out maybe by the time you see this video. Um, so him getting a one-year deal, uh, that was expected because with Deshaun Elliott um, on the Ravens, what we saw a lot was potential. We saw potential, we saw flashes, but the thing that we saw, unfortunately, more than the potential uh, were the injuries. Every year, unfortunately for Deshaun Elliott, it was always something. And, and you felt so bad for him because he ended up getting his shot. He ended up getting thrown into the starting spotlight uh, when the Ravens cut Earl Thomas. And it was like, all right, Deshaun Elliott, you're up. It's your chance. It's your opportunity. Let's see what you got. And he showed that he 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 was straight. He was straight. Was he this world class, all pro, free safety? No. And I think that he actually would have been better suited for more of a strong safety role uh, because Deshaun Elliott is such a a physical uh, safety. I almost called him a linebacker, but he hits like a linebacker. But he's such a physical safety um, that. He, in my opinion, um, he should be around the box a lot more. He should be dealing with them tight ends a lot more. He should be uh, dealing with the running backs and whatnot. Just playing that sort of uh, Jamal Adams type of Tony Jefferson. Uh, just that, that safety that's around the box. Um, but he could play free safety as well. Uh, but Deshaun Elliott, yeah, the injuries, they just they took over from his rookie. And, and the thing was... It's crazy because it was always a freak injury. It was never like the same thing. Because uh, his rookie year, I remember even going to a training camp uh, where at the at, at Owens Mills and this dude in training camp, the intensity was there. And he wasn't even a starter. He was a rookie back then. And he was hitting everything in sight, uh, including obviously his own teammates because that's who you go to training camp with. And John Harbaugh had to pull him to the side. And he was yelling at him like, hey, calm down, man. Stop. You you going 150 miles per hour. Everybody else, they doing 50. You got to chill out. Um, but then that year, uh, he I think he broke his forearm. That ended his season. Then I think his second year, he ended up having some type of leg injury. Uh, that ended his season in like week four or something like that. Then his third year, I believe he played this his Full third year and then last year his fourth year um he start he was a starter and he was playing um but then he oh what was the injury last year he had like did he have a shoulder injury initially or abdomen injury he he had some injury first and that took him out for a couple of weeks and I remember um the defense just changing when he was out um the defense was just the energy was just lacking. And I mean, they were also losing like a lot of people. Every week it was somebody new. Uh, but when Deshaun Elliott came back from being injured this year, the energy was there. I think he came back in a Chargers game, got his first pick of his career. It was, it was high. It was, it was such a beautiful way for him to come back to playing. Um, but he, he brought this energy, man, that they needed so badly. Um, and he played and then unfortunately he ended up getting hurt again. And this time when he got hurt, it ended his season this year. So that's why him getting a one year deal. That was always the expectation for me, uh, wherever he landed. Um, so Detroit, they're going to get somebody who he going to get after it. My, my favorite quality about Deshaun Elliott is that he didn't play scared. He, he did not play scared at all. He didn't play in fear of anything. He didn't play in fear of anybody. Uh, and I know I'm sure you all have seen it before. I'm sure a lot of Ravens fans are watching this. But any Lions fans, my favorite play from Deshaun Elliott, and I'm sure a lot of Ravens fans' favorite play from him, uh, was when he went head up with Derrick Henry. 
And you just, you don't see people go head up with Derrick Henry. Now, granted, Derrick Henry, um, he didn't really see the hit coming all the way. So I guess maybe it wasn't all the way head up. But still, that is Derrick Henry. That is a, that's a monster. That's a monster. That's like if you put, uh, you, you, you tick off Bruce Banner and make him mad enough to where he turns into an Incredible Hulk. And then you say, all right, Hulk, not Smart Hulk. But Incredible Hulk, where you say, all right, Hulk, you go put on a Titans jersey. We're going to put you at running back. That's Derrick Henry. But for somebody to go head up, with, well, almost head up with him. But, but somebody to hit him like Deshaun Elliott hit him. And you can tell, oh, Derrick Henry, he felt that one too. He was like, ooh. Now, I believe the Titans still won that game, unfortunately. But it was a nice hit. Um, so, yeah, he, he is just, he's fearless, man. So, going against... Um, I don't even know who the Bears have at wide receiver because Allen Robinson's gone. I don't even know who the Packers have at wide receiver since Devontae Adams gone. Um, but going against Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, for now, unless he gets traded somewhere. But going against those guys, yeah, you're going to have somebody that's not afraid to hit at all. Um, Deshaun Elliott, he's also a pretty good tackler. Because uh, there's some guys who are physical. They'll lay a hit, but they won't be good tacklers. Deshaun Elliott, he... Uh, He's a pretty good tackler. Um, but, again, you're going to get a lot of heart, man. You're going to get a lot of heart. You're going to get a player that is not going to be quitting on plays because uh, you do see that a lot in the NFL. You see some players be like, oh, okay, whatever. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't finishing this play. Not Deshaun Elliott, though. So this will be a nice um, nice test for him. Nice test for him, uh, for him with the Lions to see, like, all right, new team, new environment. Um, I think from his tweet, maybe he might be wearing number seven. We'll see. But uh, this will be a, a, an opportunity for him to prove, like, try to stay healthy. Hopefully, again, a lot of freak injuries. It's never been the same injury with Deshaun Elliott. That's why it's so crazy and it's so unfortunate with the way that his career has been. Because he just hasn't got to really have a clean break. There's always something. Again, arm, leg, this, that. And it's like, man. Um, so... Hopefully, this will be a year where he can stay completely healthy uh, and he can get that job done. So, uh, hope, hoping for the best. This is a, It is also interesting from a uh, Ravens fan standpoint. I know he's sort of changing tunes here. Um, but from a Ravens fan standpoint, every uh, seems, seems like every Ravens free agent or pending free agent, uh, they all signed to one-year deals. Uh, I think every last one of them. Now, Josh Johnson and Eric Tomlinson, they will back up, so put a little asterisk on them, but they signed the one-year deals. Um, but Deshaun Elliott, he signed to a one-year deal. Tavon Young, who was healthy the whole season last year, um, and he's been injury-prone throughout his career, he signed a one-year deal. Um, Chris Westry, was his deal one year, two years? I forget. But Anthony Averitt, he signed a one-year deal. Bradley Bozeman, who I really thought was going to go out and cash out, he signed a one-year deal. Um, so... Oh, and Chris Board, who's also with the Lions. Lions signed uh, linebacker Chris Board a couple weeks back. So he signed a one-year deal. Um, so, yeah, a lot of these Ravens guys, uh, teams are just, teams aren't taking a full chance on these guys. Teams are like, all right, one-year deal, let's see what you got. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that says, but I just found that to be very, very uh, interesting. Anyway, um, team keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Uh, I, I seriously appreciate you all supporting the channel. Thank you for watching the channel. Um, you um, and I appreciate the people who like genuinely support. Seriously, uh, because you have some people that they'll watch, but they watch to hope that you fail. They watch to hope that you mess up. They watch to hope that you make mistakes throughout the videos. They they watch you to just hope your demise comes. And they they watch they watch looking for negativity. They watch to see, all right, did, did he mess up on this? Oh, did he say something wrong? Let me point that out. And that's that's all that they watch for, just to hope for the worst. Um, but I appreciate the people who genuinely watch to support. Thank you for that. Uh, I appreciate y'all for that. And y'all just uh, just know that you all loved, for real, seriously. Um, y'all have a great day. I'll see you all later on. We got, of course, more videos coming up. But for now, we out.